Welcome Pisces, I'm Juanita and uh, today we're going to be using the uh, Sacred Light Oracle deck and the Osho Zen Tarot okay, to uh, let us know what it is that you need over the next two weeks to be focusing on. Okay, so let's just give these a little bit of a shuffle, Pisces, and okay, so Pisces, let's have a look. Lord Mal Chizedek. Mal, Lord Mal, I call him because it's easier. Indecision, ego based actions, lifestyle change. Okay, Pisces, I feel as though you are letting your ego rule, which could be why, if there's anything that you're having trouble deciding on in your life, you are at this, um, you know, you can't decide because it's like there's this bit of a battle between the head and the heart um, because the ego is coming in and saying, what are you doing? What if you do this? You know, then this is going to happen. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Pisces, this could be... Ah, oh, you may have met someone from a past life. And your indecision may be because there is some sort of a residue memory in your soul from a past life about this person. And you that's what you're battling against with your ego. could also be to do with looking at your own self okay so my nose is so itchy sorry Pisces um looking at your own self and the truth like actually looking within okay um I feel as though Lord Mel will help you to um diffuse any energies which are not serving you right now in regards to this but let's have a look further into this Pisces Tibetan fire serpent seeking a higher truth discernment a better path authority You're in two minds about something, I feel. Sorry. Let me show you. I feel like something has set your heart on fire. But the past is getting in your way. Or your ego is getting in your way. Let's have a look. Because there's definitely like a new, a, a potential new beginning for you. Whether it's to do with a partnership or not. Silent, oh, inner voice, sorry going within, listening, tapping into your inner voice. Yeah, see, actually not allowing this ego to come through and um, take the lead here, okay? Because what's happening is your ego is going to cause you to, it's, it's actually going to trigger you. I feel like your ego is going to trigger you to bring forth to bring the past back to the present. Okay, so this is something you're really going to need to keep an eye on for yourself. Um, 
because you need to look at Pisces what it is that you want to grow in your life do you want to grow a garden of weeds or do you want to grow a garden of um, flowers you know or fruit trees or yummy vegetables or whatever right um really really because there's also something about us this is about ending a cycle because talking about the beginning of something new we're talking about the ending of a cycle but this cycle goes way back it's actually a generational cycle i'm not sure i put my finger on it with the lovers though i feel like there's more to this there's something in your life that is showing you something maybe that you don't want to see. Hmm. I'm just not sure. I'm just that's interesting because I turned the deck up and under here is a past life as well. Maybe a regression would help you, a past life regression. Okay, but anyhow. Let me carry on. Light body. Independence brings comfort. Past restrictions. Ancestral healing. Yeah. Ancestral healing. Past restrictions. Something is restricting you. And I feel like maybe it's your ego. Okay. Um, your ego is going. It's like you want to do something, Pisces. But your ego is actually... Going, oh yeah, remember the last time you did that? What happened then? Do you remember that? And how that turned all turned to custard and it didn't work out and, you know, all that kind of thing. I feel like it's coming in and it's actually sabotaging what it is that you want to go forward with. Um, and so this is really, this inner voice is going to help you seek this higher truth, okay, which this Tibetan fire serpent is about. Okay, so really listening to your thoughts and using discernment as to what they are telling you because you can create a better path, but it's as though you need to take um, the lead in that and not let your mind have the authority over your heart. You're afraid of opening your heart? You'd rather close it. We all say we want love, and then when it comes to the crunch, when something good comes along, you don't really want to. And it's it could be that there's something that you would like to come back to that was once in the past, and you'd like to see if that door is still open, maybe. Um, but you're afraid. I also want to say that be aware um, of any codependence okay um that you're actually not wanting to go back to something from the past because it's comfortable and it's familiar that you're doing that because that's truly in your heart what you want um not because you haven't found anything better type of thing okay um yeah going into the silence tapping into this because your emotions um maybe at the moment are all swirling around the shop and um, you need to really calm everything down so that you can allow this inner voice to be heard and speak up. Okay. And allow this light body that is within you to actually um, dissolve the heaviness that is also within you. You have some guilt, Pisces. This is also your ego on your dear ear reminding you of stuff pouring at you this is self-imposed this is these are restrictions that we put us upon ourselves limitations that we don't believe that we can actually free ourselves from but um we have the ability to a lot easier than what we realize but we're too busy um allowing th this ego to consume us that we can't actually clear the way in order to see the blossoming trees that are right there. Um, because we're letting the ego just take complete control. Okay, and we need to realize that we do have the authority over our lives and these decisions that we make. The ego is um, 
you need to really focus on quietening down the ego. Okay, angelic realms, a team effort, charity, validation, and patience. <laughs> um, this is something, this tapping into these angelic realms, Pisces, um, through the silence and um, letting this inner voice, this inner voice is, it, to me, it's, it is the angelic realms, you know, it's, um, but it's also support from the angelic realms. So Lord Mal coming through and accepting this support, I think, you know, accepting that to come into your life. You may think that's a bunch of gobbledygook, but at the end of the day, we have support that we can't see there to help us, right? And, um, so I feel like going into the silence and tapping in and getting th that validation. Goodness me, I'm getting the hiccups now. Getting that validation um, so that we know. We know the best course of action for our higher self to take. But I feel like once you tap into this inner voice, you're not necessarily going to need that validation. It's just that those angelic realms are going to back that up for you. That something that you already know. This is underneath too, turning in, quietening down this these ego voices. This could also be external voices as well. People giving you unsolicited advice. Okay. Um that, that are not help that's not helping you at all. Okay, so let's have a look. Angelic rounds for Pisces. Yeah. Possibilities, rising up and seeing what your options are, seeing the possibilities, realizing that you're not limited and not limiting yourself. Okay. Um, looking at more than one option as well. Like looking at looking at everything. Okay. Um, I feel like at the moment you're trying to control a particular situation um, and it's not exactly allowing you to be free and it's not allowing you to rise up and see what possibilities are available to you okay so really getting letting go of this control getting these angelic realms to come in and lord mal to come in to um to kind of like lift you up okay to to bring forth this light body in order for you to raise up okay um light seeker light quest visionary mental strength and resilience this is this is breaking out of patterns i feel like breaking out of patterns that don't serve you no matter how um pretty you make them look all right um suppression not being in denial about what it is that you need to change okay ending suppressing yourself <sighs> because we've got this control here we've got guilt here you're trying to suppress emotions you're trying to suppress unhealthy emotions and for some of you i feel as though you're trying to suppress that so it can't be seen not only by people around you but also by yourself but the thing is pisces if you don't deal with those things they're only going to rear the ugly head more and more and more they're not going to go away so you need to call on this light body. You need to get these angelic realms on board and Lord Mal to help you do that. You need guidance. Okay, you need these. This, look at this as an angel. And here you are turning away from that. Okay, not allowing it in. You need to allow this guidance to come in. Okay, in order to assist you in this. To, to, to break these generational patterns. Archangel Michael, here's another being that you can call on. Okay, look at this eagle again rising up seeing the possibilities archangel michael is looking at him rise up knowing that there's all these possibilities and watching this eagle stand in its or fly in its power right um the eagle it, the eagle knows it has its own innate ability to know exactly what it needs to do precisely at the right time because it taps in and it tunes into itself it doesn't listen to anything outside of itself it only trusts itself. 
okay, and, 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 and for you Pisces, it's about tapping into that for yourself, okay, heart of a warrior, divine protection, synchronicity, look for those signs, okay, we'll see those synchronicities, okay, um, you will have success. Okay, Pisces, I feel like there's already been some success for you, so celebrate that, but keep going because there is more um, success. There's more, sorry, work to be done along the path, and um, I want to say with this, don't think the journey's over just because you have had some success, okay, um, because you definitely need to do some more um, work here. Turning in again. Yeah. This is really, take extra note of this because this didn't, like noticing it at the bottom of the deck before, not fighting this, okay, not fighting the need to do this, going and finding meditations to do, okay, so you can quieten those voices and the ego. Power of presence, a power struggle, power struggle between your head and your heart. Did I say that right at the beginning? I feel like I might have. Um, unlock your potential authenticity, yes, because Pisces, maybe this is part of this ego thing of trying to be someone you're not, you know, letting this ego get the better of you, and, and maybe somewhere along the way you've lost yourself, you don't know who you are, you've suppressed the true you, you've suppressed your true power, and it hasn't come up, so now, by going into the silence and letting this, you know, turning in and letting this inner voice speak, is going to reveal the authentic you okay and this is where then you can break these patterns okay these generation generational patterns healing okay doing the healing that you need to do in order to give up this battle because it's becoming quite tiring for you you feel like you've been shut out you feel like you're on the outside or you're on the outer and you feel like you don't fit in and it's like you're still standing at the gate waiting for someone to open it to accept you okay because all you want to do is feel accepted and feel like you belong but the fact of the matter Pisces is that if you turn around you're actually going to find that you do belong it's just not in the direction that you're looking at okay so by doing this healing and letting this happen, this will allow you to find your place in the world and find your own self. Because ultimately, that's what you're searching for. Your true self. Consciousness, self-awareness, personal realizations, prejudice. Okay, dropping all the prejudices, prejudices, <laughs> dropping other people's beliefs I can't believe we're only 18 minutes in and we nearly threw these cards that's been so quick Pisces but the message is clear and concise right there's no need to delve into anything there's no well I mean you know not that we haven't but it's plain and simple man plain and simple your consciousness the, the, the consciousness resides in here. Okay, this, this is like the source. It's, it, it resides in our heart. So tapping into that is tapping in to the self-awareness. Okay, it's going to give you these personal realizations about yourself and, and bring out the truth of who you are and to break these patterns that are holding you back. It's going to take you beyond the illusion. Because Pisces, you don't believe you're the butterfly. It's like you believe, not even that you're the caterpillar, but you believe you're the mush inside the cocoon, and you believe that's all you're worth. But there is so much more to you than this. You are more than this butterfly. This, this, this transformation that is taking place right now. And, and maybe for some of you, it's scaring the bejesus out of you. <laughs> you know, and you're just not sure what's going to come, what the possibilities are. Yeah, the sorrow is weighing heavy, heavy, heavy on you. You could be suppressing this sorrow instead of letting it out. And it's keeping you, it's not allowing you to rest peacefully. 
it's not allowing you to um you're, you're sitting in silence trying to release this you're not calling on any support you have support you have support around you okay you're not doing anyone any favors by keeping it to yourself and you're not allowing yourself to grow by by holding it and keeping it private it's okay to reach out it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to release this Pisces because you you are worthy of doing that and this is the way you know maybe this is what has been done generations before where people have you you've been taught in your family to suppress it and don't you know you can't show that emotion and you can't cry and you can't feel this and you can't feel that just toughen up like handle it you know, but the fact of the matter is that in order for that cycle to be broken, you need to do things differently. You can't expect different results when you continue with the same pattern. Okay, so it's really becoming conscious of what it is that you are doing um, that, that allows this these patterns to keep repeating. Not just in your life, but generations before. And if you don't break these, they will repeat in generations to come. So, yeah, I really, really feel like this is something that is very significant for you to work on, extremely significant. Universal Merkaba, a sacred purpose. You have the answer. You have the answers within, okay? You have a sacred person, a purpose. I feel as though some of you are desperately trying to seek this sacred purpose. And it could be that you're trying to link things together and trying to work it out. And what you don't realize is, is, is that just by going into the silence and tuning into yourself, this will drop the illusion that it's actually external to you and let you know that it is your inner voice that holds all the answers. Okay, that tapping into these angelic realms is going to give you what you need. Okay, asking for the support of Lord Mel and Archangel Michael is going to bring forth this consciousness. Okay, it's going to be bring forth this power of presence you're going to be able to stand in your power and be present with that Pisces there's an illusion there's definitely an illusion look at this just flipped over but it didn't flip out but there's an illusion I feel like some of you feel like you're not living your truth and you're not authentically you and you you some of you don't even know what that even looks like or who that is. The boy's just been here putting on this happy face and um, and not really looking in underneath the tapping down. You've only done the surface level stuff, maybe surface healing type of thing, but not really digging deep, deep, deep down inside to see what it is that needs to be kind of like pulled out like I'm seeing a thorn being pulled out like it's like that it's like you're walking around with a thorn in your foot and you're pretending it's not there and it's all fine no I'm fine I don't know all right and uh it's been there for ages and it's like you you just it's it's mate you just got to pull the thorn out you know playfulness <sighs> not letting everything weigh you down Okay, um, having fun with things. Also, Pisces are being transparent. Feels like you're trying to hide so much and trying to suppress so much. Um, and it's it's as though for some of you, it's, it's as though you've either done it for so long you don't know how to bring it up now, or you're doing it hoping that it will just disappear if you do it long enough. Um, without realizing that it actually does need to be addressed okay um, 
I really feel like there's a lot of power in this reading. I feel like there's a lot of power for you to tap into because you are powerful. You're the powerful being. It's you who needs you need to tap into it. You are the power. Pisces, it's you. Everything that you're searching for, it's you you're searching for. Not anything over here, not anything over there. It's you. You're, you are it. You are it. You are totally and utterly it. You almost, like, there's something inside of you that resonates, right? And you're almost getting it. And then you just let go and, and you stop trying. And you're just almost there. You've got to keep going. Pisces, you've got to keep going. You've got to. You've just got to. I can't. I don't even know. I'm like, I want to reach through the camera here and just go, Pisces, like, come on. Pisces, please. You know, I just, yeah, like, truly, because, man, these cards, like, I just need to hold all these up. Let me just show you, and hopefully we get this through to you. I think you know, though, Pisces. I think you know. I can't even hold them all in my hands. Like, hang on, let me just bring these ones here. I can't get them all up. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Can we? Can we, though? Oh. <laughs> See this? Look at this. Like, this is power, man. This is you. This is the power of you. This is who you are. You are all these and more. You have all the support plus some. And when you tap into this power of you, you're not even going to need to call on this. I mean, it's going to be there, obviously. It's never going to leave you. You'll always be able to access that. But yeah, this is this is you having this resilience. Okay, this is about you having this mental strength to to conquer you, to conquer this, to conquer this ego that is, has such a hold over you at the moment. Okay, um, that, that, yeah, this is really quite a necessary journey for you to go on. And that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. And this means, like, it doesn't mean over the next two weeks just do that and you'll be fine. This is the beginning of this journey. Okay, this is the first step in this journey to start to really become aware of what the ego is telling you and what is going on and how it's influencing you and how it's keeping you held down. Okay, how it's stopping you from living um, and, and, and um, letting your light shine. Okay, Pisces. Um, yeah, this is something that is going to help you break this um, generational pattern and, um, and to start stepping into the power of who you truly are and becoming your authentic self. Well, not becoming your authentic self because you already are, but, uh, but actually um, uh, stepping into the power of that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, Pisces. Good luck. Not good luck. Just do it. <laughs> um, easier said than done, I know. Look, go and find some meditations on YouTube um, to get into this silence, okay? And, and, and draw on all the beings that have popped up today so that they can help you and guide you. And, you know, you'll just be looking at, at YouTube and something will pop up and you'll be like, oh, that's what, you know, I heard about in this reading. And, and go and, you know, listen to that and come back and, and listen to this again over the next couple of weeks to remind you. And you'll hear different things and different things will click for you. Okay, um, and one last request, Pisces, please like and share and um, subscribe and comment if you feel the call to um, so that we can get all this information out there to as many people so we can help as many people as possible and we can get do that together. Okay, you and I, we can do that together, Pisces. Okay, thank you, Pisces. See you. Bye-bye.